Hey guys, this is Richard Price with High Tech Battery, and today we're going to be taking a look at the NOCO NLP30 series battery. The NLP30 is a lithium power sport battery. It is newer on the market for NOCO. It's been out for just a handful of years, I think two or three years at this point. It's a three year warranty product from them, um, and it replaces a lot of batteries that go into Harley Davidson bikes, some of your more powerful ATVs, four wheelers, UTVs, things like that. So the game plan today is for us to do an unboxing here um, so you can see exactly what it looks like out of the box, what it comes with. We're also gonna put a load test on it just to see what the CCAs is at ambient room temperature for us here. It is 72 degrees. You know, before we get too far into it, I do want to take a little bit of time and explain what the difference is in terms of performance from a lithium battery to a lead acid battery. I don't recommend the lithium series batteries for any of my customers that are gonna be riding in cold weather. Anytime that you are planning on you know, riding in 32 degrees or lower, immediately it's going to cap the starting power by at least 30%, just take it right off the top, if not a little bit more, for any of these lithium starting batteries. Lithium traditionally doesn't perform well in the cold as of the recording of this video. This battery doesn't have a self warmer in there, so it doesn't warm the battery up prior to you starting your uh, power sports application. So it's gonna be a cold start in a cold environment, which means you're taking at least 30 points off the top of the starting power every time until the battery gets warm. So that's the first caveat, temperature. Are you gonna be riding a lot in cold weather? If you are, I don't think the NLP30 series is going to be a good investment for you. The other caveat here, this is an 8 amp hour battery. That translates into roughly about a 16 amp hour capacity lead acid battery. The reason being is that you can drain a lithium battery all the way down. So you could use its full capacity versus a lead acid battery. The voltage would drop too much. You can only use about 50% of its capacity. So that being said, the equivalent to this would be something like a DECA ETX30L product and that is a 28 amp hour battery. So by equivalent, it does have a little bit more capacity. So if you have extra bells and whistles that are gonna be drawing a tremendous amount of power while the vehicle is off, then I don't recommend a lithium battery for you. If you're drawing power while the vehicle is off, so in other words, you're sitting in a parking lot and you've got a ton of lights that aren't LED, or you've got a 2000 watt stereo system um, that you're looking to play while the bike is off and it's sitting outside of a bar, you know, whatever the case may be. I wouldn't recommend the NLP30 series for you. Cases that I would recommend the NLP30 series. Anybody that has compression work done to their bike, if you have a tough time cranking it over, this will get the job done for you every single time. It's a tremendous amount of starting power compared to your lead acid equivalents that you're probably used to seeing uh, and have installed in your bike at the moment. Other applications are going to be stereo systems played while the bike is on. You know, this can support up to a 1 or 2,000 watt stereo system pretty easily. Uh, we've been selling them for that for a number of years and customers have given us very good feedback. The bass can hit and it won't drop the voltage on the bike to the point where it's going to be a noticeable issue while you're driving. Anyone looking for more starting power or anyone have extra bells and whistles that they want powered on while the bike is running? to take some of the load off the actual charging system, this is a great option for you. Obviously, the perks for lithium are going to be longevity. You know, this battery is going to have a tremendous amount more in terms of cycle life, 2,000 cycles on this versus a traditional starting battery. You're probably at 350 or 400, you know, to be honest. Deep cycle batteries traditionally have a little bit less. You will see a longer lifespan on this battery given that you do take care of it. What does taking care of it mean? charging it in the off season. If you have a security system on your bike that has a minute draw, keep that in mind. You know, if you're gonna be storing this thing for the winter, I want you to put a battery maintainer on there. It's a $200 battery. Now, it's not gonna break the bank compared to some of the uh, lead acid equivalents out there, like the DEC ETX 30L, it usually goes for like a buck 50 right now. So it's not too much higher on the scale, but it's still worth protecting your investment for the long run. You could get five, seven, eight years out of this battery pretty easily as long as you take care of it. All right, enough of me rambling on. Let's go ahead and unbox it and take a look. 